All right, Brakthi Ahawu, Brakthi Awashai, Brakthi Ahawu, Brakthi Awashai, Brakthi Ahawu, Brakthi Ahawu, Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakaku Dash, the Blondes of the Apostles, and the Elders of Great Mills, don't you well? And citations to the hopeful elect out there. You ask him to Zadak him to do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. On the preacher on, and um, this week's topic is going to be entitled, Do As Thou Wilt is Demonic. And um, the reason I'm doing this show is, you know, in the wake of this uh, controversial situation, light has been shed. And um, um, greater understanding in terms of the most High's judgment and mercies has been brought upon, you know, brothers that's up and coming and learning, right? And um, the Apostle Elder, uh, Apostle Elder Carr, he, you know, all the Apostles, they did beautiful videos. I was just watching the Apostles video and they made great points, man. All right. So <clears throat> the spirit got on me to, um, you know, just bring out the point that. You know, as much as we big up the most high's mercy, there's a balance to this thing. We have to big up also his judgment, all right? You can't just come in this thing and do whatever the fuck you want to do, all right? Because though the most high is long-suffering and he's a very merciful power, but he's a power of great judgment, man. Remember, this is the same power that destroyed the whole earth and left only eight souls. So you can't just be fucking around with the most high's mercies. So I'm going to go into a few scriptures and I'll lower and I'll finish this before my lunch break. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. It says... Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Yeah, the Most High might not judge you right away. That doesn't mean he just pardoned you, man. That doesn't mean, okay, he's going to keep pardoning me, keep pardoning me. Nah, man. The Most High could do what you call, like how Esau has a tactic. Like, he could, Esau could know people are selling drugs and shit and bust them right then and there. But Esau, what he'll do is he'll let the case mount up. So the Most High is the same way. So you don't want to be that dude that's just letting your sins mount up and... Just doing whatever the fuck you want to do, thinking, okay, the most I hasn't killed me. I'm still like him, so I could just keep doing Nah, it don't work that way, all right? It says, therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. And it says the hearts of the sons of men, because we know the heart is desper desperately wicked. You know, when we talk about the mercies of the Heavenly Father and battles and, and brothers that are fighting demons, we talking, we, the key word is fighting, man, all right? You're not, this, <laughs> this is not for... The, the, the words of mercy is not for guys that's already been knocked out on the fucking floor mat. These are for guys that's digging in a fight, man. All right? And we gave many examples of some of the demons that brothers might be fighting. Whatever your demon is. But this is not for them guys that's just going to wallow on some Anthony Joshua shit that gave up the fight before it even started. Nah, man. All right? These are for guys that's digging in and hoping that the Most High pardon them for their sinful thoughts and past sins prior to this truth and while in this truth, man. All right? So I'm going to jump to the next scripture. Because if we if we teach like that, that's the doctrine of the world, man. Do whatever the, do whatever you want. The most high is always gonna forgive you. Nah, man, it's not like that, man. Alright, you have to put in the effort to try to repent, man. Alright, and that dude, um <clears throat> that the 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 faggot dude, right? Again, that dude was not fighting. Okay, he 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 was not fighting. He wasn't he, he he the the demon, he did he came in the truth, he was doing the same thing for four years. So the most high could have it to where you know, he did that confession just so his judgment could be made public when the Most High do what he do to him, man. All right? Um, it says, a fall, Proverbs 11 and 1, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. So we can't be um, like, you know, people in the world, every do whatever you want, the Lord's going to forgive. And we can't be like, uh, the Most High is just going to kill everybody. Nah, man, we got to deal with the balance of the scriptures. The Most High deals with... Balance in terms of judgment and mercy and as the apostle of recall is bringing out and we also brought this out on the Wednesday show Look, man, not everybody that repent is gonna be uh, Pardoned man. All right uh, Apostle of the call he gave the, the example of Saul. All right uh, Judas Iscariot is also a prime example. You know, he he forsook the Lord and tried to ask for forgiveness and got destroyed um, Antiochus all right Which he's a heathen any goddamn ways but, you know what I'm saying, don't try to just take advantage of the Most High's mercy because we taught, we brought out the example that what? Just as his, I brought the example that his majesty is as great as his uh, mercy, but guess what? <laughs> his judge is, is uh, just as great as his judgment shows his correction also. All right, because if we, you know, if you just have it in your mind, you could do whatever the Most High is going to forgive you, then where's the fear? Where's the fear of the Most High, man? Where's the, where's that? Damn, you know, where's that fear in the back of your mind if you just do whatever the fuck you want to do? So this is not a do as that will doctrine, man. It's not a do as that will thing once you come in this thing, man. All right? Yeah, we obtain grace because we came in the word of the Lord. But what? Romans 3 and 31, man. All right? Shall we then make void the law through faith? Nah, we can't do that, man. All right? 
I'm going to go there to Jeremiah 16, verse 10. It says, And it shall come to pass when thou shalt show this people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Like, why is the Lord doing all this? Or what is our iniquity? What do I do, Lord? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, power? Then thou shalt say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me. So you're not supposed to forsake the Most High, man. All right, by going in the by, by following the idols and breaking his law, statutes, commandments, saith the Lord, and have walked after the other gods and served them. And man, your mind is you, you could serve your flesh, man. That's a demonic thing, too, man. Serving your just giving over to giving over to your flesh, like fuck it, man. I'm just gonna give over to my lust and my you serving another a whole nother deity, man, worshiping your flesh, man. And has served them and have worshiped them and have forsaken me and not kept my law. So you gotta keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man. All right, I know we gave extreme example of where the most side and pardoned brothers for, you know, great fucked up things, all right? But that's few and far, but that ain't, that ain't just for everybody, man. All right? That ain't just for everybody. Okay? Not everybody in the scriptures is legion, if you will. Not everybody in the scriptures is going to have 2,000 demons on them and get, get them pulled off. That's not everybody. All right? The most I can have 2,000 demons put another 2,000 on you, man. So you got to have the fear of the most high, man. Don't just think, okay, I'm going to just be doing what I'm doing. I didn't get killed yet. So I'm good. Nah, man, fuck that. All right? That's not, the, that's, not, that's, not the, that's not the way of a prophet. That's not how a prophet should think, man. That's not how a man of the Lord th should think, man. It says, therefore, it says, um, yeah, other gods and have served them and have worshipped them and have forsaken me and have not kept my law. And ye have done worse than your father's. For behold, ye walk every one after the imagination of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto me. So, if the Mosai was so uh, super merciful, then we wouldn't be here, man. All right? Now, the Mosai said, listen, man, you know, you you and also, this is a judgment, man. And he issued it out, guess what? In, his, in, in due season. Here it is, the Mosai put us in captivity um, in America and prophesied it would happen. All right? Roman captured these different captivities. Generations before it happened, man. So the most High is long suffering, man. And just because he's long suffering, don't mean he won't get you in this lifetime or the next, man. So we, the reason I'm pushing out the, the vibrations, that vibration of balance, man. All right, the, the we, you know, spirit jumped out there, brought out the mercy of the Lord. Hey, but now we got to bring out the judgments of the heavenly Father, man. All right, and the fact that listen, man, you can't just do what the fuck you want. You can't just do as that will. That's a, a Lester Crowley, um, that's that serpent in the garden type spirit, man. All right. Verse um, 13, therefore will I cast you out of out of this land. Now, in the spiritual sense, all right, when you get cast out of the land, it's talking about getting cast out this truth. Because what? New Jerusalem is being built right now, all right, starting with the elect. So you get cast out this thing, that's like getting cast out the holy land, man. Because the, 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 Jerusalem is a people for it's a place. But this physically happened to our people back then, too. They got cast out the physical holy land. And now Bassett is, Bassett is done, done in the Ashdod, man. And, 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 and nations, right? It says, therefore, will I cast you out of his hand, out of this land, into a land that ye know not. Neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall ye serve other gods day and night. Where where I will sh well, look here, where I will not show you favor. So that's a, that's the most I say. Listen, I ain't gonna show you two thirds of you no fucking mercy, man. Cause you had your chance, right? The scripture says, I will not show you favor. So you don't want to be of that ilk with the most size not showing your ass no favor. How do you do that? By not tempting him, man. All right? By not tempting the Heavenly Father, man. <coughs> all right? And the apostle made a good point, man. This fucking demon was in the camp with all them spirits on him and hanging around brothers, man. The scripture says, following out a multitude of evil because they got demons on them. Them demons can hop on you, man. All right? So all, you know... This thing is about cleansing yourself, man, and purging yourself. Okay? Well, I, hey, if you got to... <clears throat> if you come in this thing and you got previous demons that still want with your mind, don't give in to those demons, man. Don't just fuck it. I'm going to go back and do it and the Lord's going to forget. Nah, man. You got to fight these particular... This thing is a fight, man. All right? Don't excuse the smallest sin and don't... Um, of course, you're not going to excuse the greatest sins. All right, but don't, don't even let your small sins build up, man. If you can work with that, work with that, man. Try to be perfect. Rehearse, try to be perfect. But we know you're not going to be perfect. But rehearse, man. Try your best. All right? And don't be gloating in OKC. I don't, I'm, not, I'm perfect. I'm not, I'm not doing nothing wrong. Nah, man. All right? 
the Lord already gave the example about the brother that beat on his chest. Listen, I'm a sinner. Yeah, right. But if you're doing your best, man, you feel you're doing, you know what I'm saying? You 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 know, you hey Lord, you know, since I came in, I'm doing better. You know, hey, Dwada Yahweh Bashim, y'all shout for that, man. But don't go and belittle the next man that's struggling with his demons, you know what I'm saying? Alright? <clears throat> so hey man, that's that that's the balance. <laughs> now from there, I'm gonna jump to the next scripture. What was that Proverbs? It's like, let me close this door. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 10. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent not. It's like, if my son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not, man. All right, linking up with that to the point, kind of small and transit topic I got into, man, about not following the multitude to do evil, man. People out here got spurts on them, man. All right? Hey, we, that dude out there in Atlanta. He kept hanging and mingling himself and social media and socializing with niggas that used to just love going to strip clubs and doing all types of worldly shit. Now what? The worldly demons overcame him, man. And that was a camp leader, man. That was a camp leader. Karatazak out there in Florida. Now he's talking about you can shave, line your shit up and get tattoos or whatever. That was, those were camp leaders, man. This demon, Malak Shaw, he was a camp leader. These, these guys was in positions, Right? And they let them them demons fester in their minds, and now they made examples of what not to do, man. So there goes a fear of Yahweh Bashimi. Fear him, man. All right, don't just, oh, um, Lord, okay, you always forgive me. Nah, man. Sometimes you see that with actual parents in real life, man. All right, they done pardoned the kids so much time that they just said, fuck it, man. Fuck child service. And just sometimes off their kids, man. So don't have the most high snap on you, because he can, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so that do is that will. I'm going to do whatever I want. The most size is going to part of me. Nah, hell no. Things don't work that way in this truth, man. All right? Once you come in this thing, you got to put on the new man. And as his brother's been bringing out, all right? You got guys that just never put off the old man. They just walk around in this thing and still be a niggas thing. The most size is going to win. Nah, hell no. All right? Those are the guys that only fear the eyes of men. You can fool men all you want. You can fool men. You can fool anybody. You can fool any man you put. You can't fool your how about shim yow shy. You got to keep that in the back of your mind. Like, listen, man. All right? Yeah, the Lord didn't judge me, but, you know, that don't mean I'm just going to be pardoned away. See, I'm a man of the Lord. The Lord didn't, nah, it don't work like that, man. All right? Because the most I put the spirit on this dude to bring out all his manners of wicked. Nobody had to catch him. The most I just listened. Now, you know, wallowed in that wickedness for X amount of years. Now I'm going to have you reveal it. Now I'm going to have to deal with you. All right? <clears throat> so, look, man, the most I is watching has her eyes 10,000 times brighter than the sun seeing everything man the thoughts in your mind and shit all right so even if you ain't sitting on on, on particular actions man your sinful thoughts you got to pray to the most uh, hey get those out my get those ideas out my mind lord all right lord i ain't thinking that that's Satan. you know what i'm saying these are the battles i'm talking about these are the wars that i'm talking about all right which the most i could say listen i'm gonna have mercy upon this brother build him up all right have him fight again he's you know he's fighting you know put him in his corner and you know help work with this man all right or if you're going to wallow in your sins and just give over to them temptations and demons and just thinking, hey, whatever, man, I'm just going to really repent the last minute. No, nah, nigga, the most I don't, most I going to fucking kill niggas like that, man. All right. Proverbs chapter four, verse 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. See that? Enter not in the path. So the most I don't want you associating yourself with any types of evilness, man. All right. And. This hey brother's been bringing this look, man. You can't save everybody, man. You this ain't a tag team, man. You see a guy super fall into some wicked shit, man. Hey, like we've been saying to the just ca just cast that dude away from your ass, man. Okay. <laughs> Cause the church will tell you that, man. The church like this fucking nigga Johanna talking about gay rehabilitations and niggas will tell you that bullshit, man. Nah, man. Them people got demons on them, man. Okay. Proverbs chapter ten verse four: The wicked, the wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not is is not in all his thoughts. <clears throat> First and foremost, you Edomites, all right. But two thirds of this way, man, the Most High gotta be in your thoughts, man. When when if you going off, and you just have no thoughts of the Heavenly Father, like damn, whatever, then what the fuck you think is gonna happen, man? The most I have to be in your thoughts at all times, 24-7, man. All right? His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. 
as for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. Verse 6, he has said in his heart, I, will, I shall not be moved. See that? I'm going to do whatever I want to do. The most I ain't going to do nothing. I ain't going to be moved. That's a prideful demon on you, nigga. All right? That's a prideful demon on a man if that's how you're moving. That doest thou will spirit. Okay? For I shall never be in adversity. See that? Look, man. That's the way of the world. That's that satanic doctrine. All right? That's that's being life uh, uh, deceitful. All right? That's taking advantage. Trying to take advantage of the most of mercy. Trying to take, you know, this thing for granted. Trying to think, try, keep trying to think this thing is a thing of man. Nah. Hell fucking no, man. We done seen examples time and time again how the most high of taking guys, put them in this thing for X amount of years just to put a heavy demon on them at the end, man, and cast them out and make them examples of what not to do. And that's a fearful thing because you can't choose that lot. None of these niggas chose that lot to be them wicked de demons that they are now today. All right, guys, that was once amongst them. They didn't choose that, man. The most I did that to them. Because Proverbs 16, there's no free will in this thing, man. <laughs> See? So that, that goes that fear. And we always got to, you know, put emphasis on that fear, man. And hey, Elder Monatizak, all right, you saw, you saw his show, Take Heed, man. So brothers got to look at these things and take take example. Like, yo, damn, you know what, Lord? I'm going to try. I got to try better. You know what, man? I got to try better. I got to, you know, as much as I agree with your mercies, 100%, Lord, I, got, I can't let, you know, let me, my sins overtake. I can't just say, I'm, you're going to forgive me every minute, man. I got to really start practicing what I preach. That should be your mindset to the brothers out there fighting, man. You know? I'm going to go here. I'm going to read a few of these scriptures right here. Um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. It says, give to the godly man and help not a sinner. All right. So you give this truth to a godly man and you don't, you know, God has, you know, sin upon sin upon sin, man. Hey, man. Yeah, it's going into money. Okay. But guess what, man? This is that spiritual money, man. All right. You give it to a godly man, a man that's fighting, man, a man that's trying to repent and do better, man. I don't motherfucker that's just going to do whatever you want to do. That's a sinner. All right. Ecclesiastes 15 and 12. It says, say, thou, say not thou, he hath caused me to err. See that? That links perfectly with the book of James, man. When a man is tempted, you can't say the most I did. Because if that's the case, then we'll just keep doing whatever the fuck we want to do. Oh, the most I made me do it. No, you cannot have that mindset, man. You can't have the mindset, yeah, there's no free will. The Lord made me do it. I'm, you know, I'm going to repent. Nah. Hell no. All right? Because the scripture says not to think that way. So why the fuck would you? It says, Say not thou, he hath caused me to err, for he hath no need of a sinful man. So the most I don't have no need for a sinful man. All right? You can't be throwing all fall short, you know? The mercy, the mercy, the mercy, and just use that as license to sin, man. Because the scriptures I'm about to read in the 20th verse, no one has license to sin and go off, man. Ecclesiastes 15 and 20, hath, he hath commanded no man to do wickedly. Either hath he given any man license to sin. So, yes, we're under the grace and the blood of Yahweh, of Yahweh Shai, sacrificial lamb, all right? But Yahweh Shai, scripture, look, man, Malachi 3 and 6, man, the Most High has not changed. And the book of Hebrews tell us Yahweh Shai the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Father and the Son is the same, man. And what's saying? These law, sessions, commandments that have to be kept. All right? Is salvation brought through the law? Well, no, the scriptures, no, no. Salvation is not brought through the law. But listen, man, these things was commanded to us. And we ought to do our best to keep them, man. All right? We ought to do our best to keep them, man. All right? Hey, man, so that do as thou will spirit, man, I just want to, you know, spirit said, get on that, man. Balance this thing out with the judgments of the Heavenly Father because that fear... All right, which we always bring out the faith. When we bring out the mercy show, we got to bring out the fear of the Heavenly Father, right? But we also got to bring out the judgment because there's a scripture leaving the book of Isaiah that says that his judgment go out every day. So the Most High is bringing judgment every day as long as, as well as he's bringing mercy every day. The Most High is killing people every single day for their sins, this life, the pre, whatever. That's, that's an everyday thing that the Most High judgment goes out, man. All right? So the Most High is bringing a great death and destruction all right, in the form of World War III, the chariots, all right, and wiping out a majority of the people on the planet Earth, and he's bringing mercy to his elect, man. All right, so that's the balance with the Heavenly Father, man. Hey, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekaku Dash, a double answer to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well, and salutations to the hopeful elect out there, man. You Akim, Tazadakim, that do this thing, the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom, Akim.